Mom, hurry up. There's a game today. I can't be late for school. Relax. We still have a few minutes. Remember, Aunt Martha is coming today. You need to pick her up at four. I remember. Eccentric Aunt Martha. I'll just grab the documents from upstairs and we'll go. This is an important weather alert. A storm is approaching this evening. Residents are advised to stay indoors and prepare for possible power outages. Secure any loose items outdoors and ensure you have emergency supplies at hand. Stay tuned to local updates and above all, remain safe. Lily, I'm heading out for work today. Aunt Marta's going to spend the whole weekend with you. Be nice to her and don't wear her out with stories about Brookhaven. Don't worry, Mom. We'll have a great time. See you on Monday. I love you, Lily. Love you too. So your mom's gone for the weekend? Where did she go? She went somewhere for work. She'll probably be working the whole time. Guess who's coming to visit me for the weekend? Who? Aunt Martha, my grandma's sister. A few years ago, I spent the whole summer with my mom at her place. She knows tons of stories about Brookhaven. That's awesome. Maybe you'll find out something interesting about the house on Elm Street. I hope so. Come by this afternoon, and maybe we can search the internet for more information about it. I'll be there at five. See you then. Lily, look at you. You've grown into such a beautiful young lady. Aunt Martha, it's so good to see you. Did you have a good trip? The town hasn't changed a bit. Feels like the years never passed. How was school? Oh, Mom's calling. Hello, I see you're already home. How was the trip, Aunt? Everything's fine. I arrived without any delays. I just arrived myself because of the storm. Be careful, it's coming your way. I'm glad everything is okay with you. I need to go now, but I'll get in touch tomorrow. That must be Max. Can you let him in? Welcome, Mr. Davis. Good thing you made it before the storm. Come inside. Lily is upstairs. Good evening, Mrs. Martha. Nice to meet you. How did you know my last name? Oh, it's obvious. You're Henry's grandson. You have his eyes. Hey, did you find anything interesting? Yes, I found some scans of the Brookhaven Chronicles. One of them details the trial of witches sentenced to be burned in the 17th century. The main accused was involved in dark magic affecting the townspeople. Exciting. Is there anything else in there? There are, but these scans are of poor quality. From what I managed to read, there were three of them, and the main accuser was Tobias Crowley. Close the window, it's going to rain any second. Okay, I'm closing it now. What happened? It's probably because of the storm. Come on, let's go to the kitchen. We'll probably find some candles there. I heard you're interested in Tobias Crowley. Do you know him? Have you heard anything about him? Yes, it's hard not to have heard about him. Maybe you could tell us something about him? I read about him in connection with the witch trials. In the 17th century, 
Brookhaven was a small, isolated village where faith and fear were often intertwined. Among the villagers, there was a group of women knowledgeable in herbal medicine and deeply connected with nature. They helped the sick, delivered babies, and were respected for their wisdom. One of them stood out, Althea Blackwood, known for her exceptional kindness and care for others. Unfortunately, their growing popularity and influence stirred envy among some of the town's influential figures. One of those who harboured a particular resentment towards Althea was Tobias Crowley, an influential and wealthy resident of Brookhaven. Crowley was known for his greed and desire to control every aspect of life in the village. Seeing that Althea and her friends commanded great trust among the townspeople, he began to fear that his authority was at risk. He spread rumours that the women were witches using magic to control people and bring misfortune to the town. Under Crowley's manipulations, the villagers started to fear the women and tensions in the town rose. Eventually, Tobias convinced the town council to hold a trial the evidence was fabricated, and witnesses were intimidated. Althea and her friends were found guilty of witchcraft and sentenced to be burned at the stake. Just before her death, Althea said, The truth will be revealed when the smoke clears and the shadows betray their secrets. That's an incredible story. Sorry, but my grandpa will be here to pick me up soon. Hello, Henry. Martha, it's been a long time since we last saw each other. 